Hi, everyone. Thank you all for joining. If you have any questions as we go through this webinar, please type them into the questions box on your screen and we'll get those answered at the end. Uh, with that being said, Kyle, I will turn it over to you. Great. Well, thank you for joining us, everyone. Uh, really grateful today to have uh, Ryan George join us. Ryan is a field safety inspector for Perico. Thank you, Ryan. We appreciate that. Rob, thank you for inviting me. Uh, you know, we'll keep this uh, to 20 minutes. Uh, you know, there'll be questions afterwards. Uh, but really, we're going to continue to talk about this bulk plant inspection and reporting. And I guess before we jump into that, Ryan, can you give us um, just a little talk a little bit about your background in the industry and how you got to be in the position you are now and maybe just describe what you do a little bit? Certainly. Um, I started out in the fuel industry uh, about 16 years ago. Um, I've been working with Perico. I'm going into my 12th year now. I uh, came to work for Perico as a long haul transport slash uh, bobtail delivery driver. Did some summer work on the service side, did some summer work on the mechanic side. Um, approximately eight years into it, uh, our safety director noticed that uh, I had growth possibilities. So I started working in the safety department on a hybrid role with uh, our director, Dave Latterell. Um, I started doing some plant inspections uh, as this position developed for me. Uh, two and a half years ago, and we started out on the basis of the uh, PERC manual format uh, for our safety inspections. And as we grew with our relationship with uh, P3, uh, we've developed it uh, with them into their into their format and are solely using them now. That's awesome, Ryan. Um, so, how is that transition? Can you just describe? how you know how you got going on the bulk plant inspections like how that how that's how you you're making that transition from what you formerly were doing to what you're doing now and maybe talk a little bit about why that the benefits that you see of that so as i said we started out uh here at perico where we developed a our own form uh based upon the PERC manual for plant inspections, uh, et cetera. And it put it on my own computer and I started going around to our 26 facilities and doing our, our standard um, monthly and annual bulk plant inspections. Uh, we would go through them. It would be a timely process. Um, I would have it on my laptop. I would do my inspections and then I would forward everything on to the individual managers in charge of those areas. We'd review them. Um, we would talk back and forth on them. And then I would, as time progressed, I would make the necessary repairs or improvements or follow-ups, et cetera. And it would just turn into a, a continuous monthly uh, process that we knew we needed some, some help with. Uh, and you guys had offered up the concept of the bulk plant inspection. So now we have uh, stepped away from our format and, and the the perk manual that we were using and we we're solely using p3 and it's made it um for me a lot more uh, user friendly uh, i'm able to carry my my uh, mobile tablet out in the field now do everything right on right on site right in my hand um, the format with which p3 developed uh, is a very flowing very easy to use very user friendly format uh, it has made my inspection process, a lot more, I would say, seamless. Um, now having gone through it with them here for approximately the past two going into three months solely on their program, um, I'm starting to remember and realize where certain aspects of the inspection process are in what may solely pertain to the LP gas industry and what may not. So it's, it's a good learning curve. Uh, it has definitely made things a lot more streamlined for me and for us here at Perico. So it's definitely been a, a winning situation for us here. Great, thank you. Yeah, um, I'm just showing the inspection right now. Uh, you mentioned, we were talking earlier, you mentioned, uh, yeah, 
a new employee and he was looking at your, you know, you want to talk a little bit about your, your training process or the feedback that he, you know, as you're trying to get some other people involved in the process here. Yeah. So, so Perico, I am this whole field safety inspector. Um, what we're looking to do is expand our personnel in the field. Uh, we feel are knowledgeable and proficient enough to sufficiently, sufficiently meet the necessary requirements of the bulk plant inspections. So I was training one of our individuals the other day and I had handed him my tablet and I said, here we go. This, this is a bulk plant inspection. This is what I've been doing for the past two plus years. And he opened it up and his eyes got very big. And I'm like, it's not as bad as it seems. It may seem very overwhelming when you see on this first page, which is only one, one uh, section that we're reviewing, it may seem overwhelming, but the way that the platform works as you're seeing here, is if you expand each one of these, you'll see the specifics that we're really looking for, what's necessary in a thorough uh, plant inspection. Um, and if you have any questions, which I said to him, I said, listen, I've been doing this for quite some time, but you as you're learning, um, they have the mobile professor, which are the, if you were to click on any one of those and expand them out, you'll see the question mark. They specifically detail what information they're looking for. So it's very user-friendly. It's not as overwhelming as, as one might think. Uh, very open, common um, verbiage for our industry. So it's, it's, it's cut and dry for us specifically, you know, in, especially in the LP gas industry. But he was a bit more relieved after I explained how everything went through um, because this entire inspection, when you get all done, it is, it is a five page uh, complete document that that you are completing all said and done. So it's a very thorough, thorough process. Yeah, when we rolled this out, we got input from uh, from our clients. We always like to have people ready to use this like Ryan. I mean, when we build things, it we, we might think it's a great idea, but ultimately if it's not used by the industry, it's a horrible idea. So, um, so you know, we built this and it was great to have Ryan use it right away in his team uh we did take the uh, really the perk standard and we uh just applied technology to make it to better tools for people in the field to help them get their job done right the first time and it, i think it's it feels like to me that sometimes the concept of a bulk plan inspection can be um you know, as as the orders are passed down from from above, it's like, okay, well, you got to do the bulk plan inspections. Yeah, there's an inspection, but uh, the premise of inspection is that not everything is going to be perfect all the time. So there are going to be follow ups, and those are going to be important. And then you got another piece of the operation, a critical piece that you got to track uh, all of the things that need to be addressed and. Um, so, so now I'm on sharing our desktop site. So this is our desktop site. If you're a multi-location, if you're a single location marketer, you can go to reports and bulk plan. If you're a multi-location uh, marketer, you're going to be able to, at the top of your drop down. you can select the overall company. Um, and you can drill in. And what you're able to see is now all of the locations. And for all of the locations, um where you're able to look at it in map view um, um and you're also able to look at list view uh and we could drill into a specific one i think you you we were talking earlier that you had uh recently done a inspection on this gardener facility correct that's correct yes um and in terms of, I guess, time that it took before what you're doing and time that it takes now with the actual inspection, is it, you know, what does that look like for you in terms of how long it's taken to complete this? So, so before um, with, with the system that we had set up, I would say it would take approximately an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45 minutes um, to do uh, our inspection. So everything, like I said, was on my laptop very cumbersome to carry around. Uh, so everything that I was, I, I would have a printed out paper format and I would check it off on that. And then when I got done, I would have to go back to my laptop and transfer everything over from my paper document back onto the laptop. That way I had it on a, a digital format. Um, 
but with with the accessibility of uh, P3 in a, in a mobile form on our mobile tablets, um, I'm able to carry it right right in the field of me, uh, very user friendly. So as I'm looking at each specific item, I can delineate if I have any issues with it, uh, whatever I find, um, and I can I can itemize everything right out going through the inspection. So it's actually improved my uh, inspection time. I'm 45 minutes to a, to an hour on a very thorough uh, inspection. So it's it's been a time saver for me. Um, but no lack of no lack of efficiency or um, scrutiny of what I'm actually looking at. I'm still looking at absolutely everything. It's just it flows a lot easier. So I don't have that oh, double standard of doing things twice. That's great to hear. Um, yeah, one thing with this for um, for our um, okay. So this so this is the map view. This is the list view, and this might be this is brand new. For, for, for Ryan, for us, for everyone, we're really excited to, to be developing this. I mean, you know, I tell when I'm doing a sales presentation, you know, one of the things I generally say is it is really rewarding for us to be building this because we think that we're building something that would really benefit every marketer in the country. Um, and one of the things, Ryan, that I don't know if we've shown you, but you, for all of your options in that multi dash, you can set up these emails. So, you can create a recurring email, you name it, you can put the subject, who you want it to go to, and what the recurrence pattern is. Um, you know, does it go daily, weekly, monthly? Um, and this is a tool to help keep what you're doing in front of the rest of the company um, to manage it. So this is, it would, it would email out in this fashion, you know, we can help you if you want or, for everyone else listening on the call, you can input your manager's names, shows you your number of plants, number of current inspections, the number that need inspection, um, and if there's any follow-up required, although I think we're gonna have to do some work on that field right there. Um, but um, so, you know, this is how do we get the whole company to understand like, hey, this is a critical piece of our infrastructure. We really need, life is busy, work is busy, how do we make sure we're paying as a collective group the attention to this critical asset we need um at the i think it's also worth showing we can go back into that um to the plant details and in the plant details obviously you're going to see your photos any sort of unresolved inspection issues you're going to see your containers um but you're also going to be able to go through any documentation so we've given our clients the ability to upload their U1A, their O&M, their FSA, but you can also see your monthly inspection. So this is the actual monthly inspection here. This is the, the hard copy, uh, so to speak. It's a PDF. Um, this is the actual output from that job if it were, if you needed to have that in, in, in some sort of official fashion, this would be it. What I find nice about this platform, um, especially where you saw the photos on this particular inspection, uh, when this was all rolled out, uh, as we rolled it out two or three months ago now, um, I went through all of our 26 facilities and I uploaded them all manually, all the information that I've been collecting uh, into the desktop version, which is all then accessible again through the mobile platform. Um, this particular location, I didn't have any current photos on, so if you look at these three photos here that are for this gardener inspection, they were all taken the time of and the date of this last inspection. So the fact of we have the accessibility to take photos uh, as you as you were doing inspections, I think is a great opportunity because, like I said before, I'd have to I take them on my cell phone, I'd have to download send them to myself, download them on a computer, and then upload them back into this. This takes that all those five steps right out of it. You can take them right when you're doing the inspection, which is a huge tool. Have you started, when you identify any sort of issues, are you, um, or follow up, are you, are you, do, are you doing photos of that as well, or? Uh, yeah, well, you can actually see, as we have some vegetation growing under the uh, facility there, right behind our bulkhead, um, that was, that was one that I had taken to show some of the vegetation that's growing around the piping and, and, 
and underneath the tank. So it, it, it's not specifically attached to the fact of that there's weeds and combustibles, you know, in and around the tanks in the, the 10 foot uh, area marked out, but it, it is a photo showing that, so. Yep, okay. Great, yeah, I feel like that, you know, that issue reporting, and we do that for drive for, you know, we have a issue reporting, we call it site condition follow-up, and it's, you know, that is easier for people in the office. You get, a, you know, pitch thousand words a picture, picture, you know, to see that mm -hmm. come in and be like, oh my God, you know, we gotta do something about this. And it, it uh, feels like to me that makes it more real within the organization if they can actually see it. But yeah, it, it, one thing that I have learned uh, as a field safety inspector over the past three years is still saying the pictures worth a thousand words. Uh, pictures are worth a, a, a book. They seriously are. The more pictures you can take of anything, inspections, et cetera, any issues you find, you know, the slightest, the slightest angle change, you know, between two photos might tell you 10 more questions or might answer 10 more questions that you've had. So pictures to me are a big thing. That's great. Yeah, while we're um, here, Ryan, I wanted, we were talking earlier. So also, um, we're kind of touching on some other things briefly, but I did mention for your meter creeps, you can also now set up this report to email um, okay. as well. Um, and uh, we do have this new report, user activity, and this can be um, emailed as well. The user activity one is generally really nice because you can see if people are logging on, you know, if you're in, you know, I, I would say that it's probably, your field team generally like once they once we get them doing it, they'll do it. Um, sometimes things become an issue with folks in the office that you know let the photos build up or don't you know aren't building this into their you know incrementally. If you have a couple things you're looking at a day, not a big deal. But if you let that queue up for like a couple months, that's uh, very overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah, not and to give people the field feedback right away, you know, mm -hmm. with that, this is this is made the bulk plant reporting, and we were just talking about this earlier, is actually made so when a bulk plant inspection comes in, it's gonna flag in your dashboard as uh, audit review requires. You can have multiple people touching this, so you could drill into it, and you're gonna see your inspection, and you can identify here's the stuff we want to fix, here's the stuff we're gonna wait whatever the situation is. Um, so uh, we're still kind of getting feedback through the folks using this so, and that will uh, help us refine it to make it more, uh, to fit better within, uh, within a marketer's infrastructure. So we are really excited. We're gonna keep investing in this thing. We really, um, Brian, we're very grateful for all that you've done. Thank you again. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you, I was going to open up to questions, but I don't know if there's anything else, any other comments that you have or anything. Um... I, as I said, it's it, the platform with which you guys have developed and, and the opportunity that we've had to to test it out and to be one of the first to test it out. Um, we've been able to work with you guys and and find what issues we may have in the field uh, based upon the platform, and we've been able to work through it. So. Working with you guys to to collaborate on this is, has been uh, a tremendous goal, and uh, it's definitely worked in I think in everybody's favor. And we look forward to continuing the relationship in, uh, throughout the future to to keep growing in this in the different aspects of which you guys provide to us. Thank you. We we look forward to it too. Thank you. We're gonna keep making this thing better. Um, all right, James. Well, I think that that I think we're we're good. Do Do you have any questions that came in? So the one question that we have so far is, what are some of the most common issues with bulk plant inspections that you guys see? So for me um, personally, uh, we have we have a very large uh, number of bulk plants, um, and for me, it's just the I would say how the weathering is taking effect on the tanks and maybe some piping and whatnot. So it, it would mainly be you know how the tanks are painted properly, how piping is painted properly and each company does uh, each company does things a little bit differently so um, based upon their maintenance schedules etc uh, 
that's about the the biggest issue that I that I've seen. So great. Okay, and those are the that was the only question that we got today. Okay. Well, thank you. Well, Ryan, yeah, Ryan, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for everyone for tuning in. Please let us know if you have any questions, and uh, you know we'll keep making this thing better. We really appreciate all of your help. Not a problem. Thank you. Yes, have a good day.